Hello lovely viewers, welcome to Dupi Animations and today I'm going to do a book flipping animation or a page flipping animation alright by using the geometry option in After Effects alright so let's not waste time alright so I have After Effects open here so first let me create a comb with a width of something like 600 and a height of 850 850 let me name it front front okay now let me bring some materials here let me bring some images in here okay let me bring these images in all right so this front let me drop an image in so let me duplicate front and let me name this one back back let me let me create a folder and place the images in let me name the folder something like picture pictures okay now let me drop the images in okay let me create another folder let me name this one pages pages okay let me duplicate the back and let me rename this one A1. Okay, A1. Alright. So let me drop A1 inside pages. Okay, so this is where our pages are going to be. Alright. So let me open A1. Then drop an image in. Okay. Alright. So now let's create another composition. This one should be HD 1920 by 1080. Let's name it main. Main. All right. Okay. So now let's click and drag back into our main here. All right. Select the anchor point to then hold the control then click and drag the anchor point to the left side. Okay. Now make it 3d now hit p on the keyboard then on position x type 960 960 there then enter so that it will push the page to your right side a bit okay on z position type minus 0 0.1 then we enter okay now let's duplicate back then hold the alt key then click and drag front to replace the top one okay now hit r for rotation on front then on y rotation let's type 180 to flip the page okay so we have back and front okay with the front flipped you see that the the, the image in there is not turned well so let's go to front then flip the image to the other side okay now let's come to the main so you have this front and back okay so now we have the front and back here now left with the pages to insert okay all right now let me try to insert in a light so let me right click in new then select light okay so the lights let me move it to maybe let me see where's the light let me move it to the left side the right side to the corner here okay now let me come let me open the light options and let me see cast shadow let me on it okay now let me set another light new lights where is it points let me change it to ambient and click ok so this one, the ambience, let me give it something like, um, the intensity, let me give it something like 20%. I'll make it 50 rather and see. Okay, so 50 is okay. Okay. So let's continue. So duplicate the back here. Okay. Then move it up. Okay. Now, what you are going to do is the duplicated one, Press P on the keyboard, 
Then where it says minus 0 0.1, change it to minus, minus 0 0.2. Okay. Now, hold the Alt key, then click and drag A1 to replace that. Okay. Now, let's do some changes here. All right. So, we have A1 here. Let's duplicate A1 so that we have A2. Okay. Now, duplicate A2, then rename it to B1. B1. Okay. Now, duplicate B1 to have B2. Duplicate B2 to have C1. C1. Then duplicate C1. Then duplicate again. Then rename the third one D1. Okay. D1. Then duplicate again to have D2. Okay. So let's see. One, two, three, four. So duplicate the D2 to have E1. E1. So we have E1. Now duplicate E1 to have E2. All right. So let me open all these. We have. Okay, let me move the main here. Let me open A2, B1, B2, C1, C2, D1, D2, E1, E2. So these are going to be the pages within the book, okay? So I have an image in A1 already. So A2, let me clear this image, then replace it with another image here, okay? So now I finish replacing all the images. All right. I think the ambient light is too intense. So let me reduce it to something like 30 and see. Okay, 30 is okay. So now A1. Hit R on rotation. Okay. Hit R on rotation. Then set a key on Y rotation. Then move the timeline to something like 4 seconds. Then, then type 180. 180. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Where the light source is, it, let me move the light source up a bit. So let me see. Change the camera view. Okay. And push it backwards. Let me see again. So I think this is okay. Uh, let me, uh, I'm see. Let me see something. Let me go to the custom view again. Let me push it backwards a bit more. Let me come to the active. I think this is okay now. Okay, so this is okay. All right? So this is okay. So now, once you are done with that, select the two keys, then easy ease them. All right? Then go to the graph editor. Then pull one side in. So this side in. And this side to in. Okay. So you have something like this. Let's see. Okay. Alright. So I will leave it like this. Now. This is what actually I wanted to try. Um, the geometry option. Let me click the cascading arrow. Then come here. The geometry option here is highlighted already. Okay. So, here it says curvature. The curvature here is zero. So, what it does is it curves a plane. Okay. So, the more you increase the percentage, the more the plane curves. And the segment here smoothens it. All right. So, let's go something like the starting. Let me start from here, the middle here. Let me drag this thing in. Since it's four seconds, the middle will be the deciding factor that will switch the pages. Okay. So from here up to here, one second, I'll set a key here. Then move the timeline to something like uh, a bit, just a bit. Then go something like 70. So I took care of it. All right. Then from here, it will go negative, something like, let me go something like minus 70, minus 70. Okay. Then on three seconds, let me go back to zero again. All right. 
So what I'll do is from here to here, I'll move this one in here a bit. So let's see. You see that? You see how smooth it is? Okay. So the MIDI here, which is, let me see. Mm, it should be here rather. Here rather. Here should be the deciding factor that will switch. Okay. So from here, duplicate A1, duplicate it, then come to your pages, then replace A1 with A2. Okay. The duplicated one with A2, then hit P on position. Then here it says minus 0 0.2, make it minus 0 0.3. Then you enter, okay? So here and here where the timeline is, you split it there. So come to edit, then split layer, okay? So the first one, the first cut, you clear it. Then on A1, you clear the last end there. So you have something like this. You see? You see that? Smooth. All right? So what you do in next is this. Select A1 and A2, then duplicate them. Okay? Then move the duplicated ones upwards. Okay? Then drag them in a bit. Okay? So when this one flips... They follow. Let me see. The next flip or page also follow. Let me go in a bit more. Okay. Cool. So what you are going to do is. This one, A1 and A2, the duplicated one, hit P on them. Okay. Now, A1... The duplicated one, you are going to replace it with B1. So hold the Alt key, then replace it. Then A2, you, you replace it with B2. Hold the Alt key, then replace that one too. Now, B1 and B2, hit P on them. Then on B2, on B1, change from 0, minus 0, 02 to 0, 03. Then on B2, change from minus zero three to zero four, okay? So let's see what we have now. See that? I think, uh, let's go one second. So that we won't see any margin within the scene, okay? So from here, when this one flips and the next thing is coming in here, so maybe I'll cut this one here. The A2 here, so I'll split it here. Let me split the A2 here and, and end it here. Okay, so now B1, B1 and B2, let me drag them back a bit. Oh, let me see. A1, B2 comes in. Okay. Now, select all of them. Select all of them. Then duplicate them. Then move them upwards. All right. Now, push them. So, maybe somewhere here. Let me see. Uh, okay, somewhere here. Somewhere here is okay. So somewhere here, somewhere here. Okay, so what you are going to do is the A1 that we duplicated, where first we are going to replace A1 with C1. So hold the Alt key, then replace it. Then A2, replace it with C2. Then replace B1 with D1. Then B2 with D2. Okay. So something like this. All right. So now, let's see. Hit P 
on from C1 to D2. P on them. First, we ended on what? Minus 0, 04 on position. Okay. So on C, let's go minus 0, 04. Minus 0, 04. All right. Then C2 will be minus 0, 05. Okay. Now D1 will be minus 0, 05 also. Then D2 will be minus 0, 06. Okay, so now let's see. Cool. So where this one flips, let me see. Where the B2 ends, you see, this is the B2, where it's about to disappear here. Let me split it here. So come to the edit menu, then split it. Split layer there, then clear it. Okay. So, so this is just me trying to see how the geometry options works. Okay. I just wanted to see how when you switch from classic 3D to the C4D renderer looks like. So I've decided to just do a bit of flipping to see. Okay, and it's not bad. Okay. So once you are done with this, and you can decide to select all of them, then duplicate, then move them upwards. Uh, let me change the color to some uh, cyan. Okay, now let me move it to maybe somewhere here. And the last one ends, so I'll follow, just like that. So. We have something like this, let's see. So where this one ends, the D2 ends, D2 ends here. So when this one is about to end it, you cut it here. So let me split it here. Let me split it there, then clear it. Okay, so D2 ends on where? Minus 0 0.6, okay. So we start this one, let me select them and hit P. So A1 will start with minus 0 0.6, followed by minus 0 0.7. Then B1 will come in with minus 0. Point oh, what did I do? Minus 0 0.6 here. Then B1 will come in with minus 0 0.7. Then B2 will come in minus 0 0.8. Then C1 will come in with 8 again. Then C2 will come in with 9, 0.9. Then D1 will come in with 0 0.9 again, minus 0 0.9. Then D2 will come in with 10, or you can make it 11 if you want. Okay, so now let's see. All right, so this comes to the end of our tutorial. Please kindly subscribe to the channel, subscribe and like, comment, and if you have any interest in any of my templates, just request it here and it will be posted onto the Telegram channel for you to download. All right.